गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम विजय कुमार टूडे आई वोट टू टीच यू सोशल साइंस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फाइव ओके टूडे यू विल डिस्कस हियर द लैंड ऑफ डेंस फॉरेस्ट द लैंड ऑफ डेंस फॉरेस्ट अबाउट द डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक ऑफ कॉन्ग ओके सो यू विल स्टार्ट इन दिस चैप्टर जस्ट वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग और वी नो अबाउट दैट ओके सो एक्चुअली in this country uh, we will discuss about this country and this country is this congo is situated this country is located on the western side of africa this country this congo the democratic republic of congo is located on the western side of africa continent understand okay so here we will discuss about this and also we will discuss here about that uh, climate and wildlife and vegetation understand and also here we will discuss about the uh, industries about uh, industries of the congo okay and also we will discuss here about that the river of the congo okay so dear students now just i am going to tell you about something that uh, this congo is located on the western side of africa and it is surrounded by congo when the rest is surrounded by the congo on the west and central west central africa and sudan sudan and west central africa african republic on the north understand and also uganda rwanda burundi and tanzania this all country this all the small small countries are located on the east in this side uganda kenya tanzania rwanda burundi okay this all the small countries are located Understand? Okay. So, uh, Angola, Zambia, and South Africa, and then Zimbabwe. This all countries are located on the south. Okay. So, dear students, just uh, we will discuss here about that. That you know, Kinshasa is the capital of Congo. Kinshasa is the capital of Congo. Kinshasa. So. In Congo, Zaire is the most important river. Zaire is the most and big important river of the Congo, of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay, and this river is the second largest river of the world. This river is second largest river of the African continent. And uh, this river is also known as the Congo River. Actually, the country of this this country name is Congo. That's why this also river is known. river and this river is known as the central highway of africa continent this river is also known as the central highway of africa continent okay so the sources of this river is the sources of the zaire river is mainly there are four major lakes okay that is also there that is albert kivu and edward this these are the four major lakes and tanzania now dear students we will discuss here about that about the climate of the congo okay so i will write here something okay so dear student i wrote here my pc so we will discuss here about the climate okay so the democratic republic of congo the climate of the democratic republic of congo uh, is hot and humid its climate is hot and humid okay The air is humid, okay. Day time in the morning time the weather is very pleasant and bright sunshine. Understand? Okay. The morning are bright and pleasant. Understand? So as a result of its equatorial location, okay, the Congo experiences large amount of precipitation and has the highest frequency of thunderstorm in this in the world. Okay, so uh, this student uh, in this country, in the Congo, in Congo, uh, in the day time, uh, in the morning time, bright sunshine and weather is pleasant. But after twelve o'clock or after noon, uh, there is heavy rain. Okay, so every year it records eighty to two hundred centimeter rain. Okay, so due to the equatorial region, due to the 
extracts the location. Okay, it experiences a large amount of precipitation and at the highest frequency of thunderstorm in the world. Okay, so I said that its climate is hot and humid. The weather is very pleasant in the morning time and bright sunshine. Okay, and afternoon there is very rainfall. So that's why in this country there are uh, the forest is dense. Okay, forest is very dense. Okay, the annual rainfall is that. So, uh, in Namakiri in Muli Congo, there, is high, uh, there are high mountains. High mountains are found. In this country, high mountains are found. And uh, high mountains are found in the extreme eastern region. In the eastern, eastern region, there are high mountains. Okay? The area is surrounded by that is margin into Samana. That is Samana. Now you see, I just have underlined here. Samana is the grassland, which is also found. Okay, so this is also one of the famous grasslands of the world, Savannah grasslands. That is also found in, the, in this Africa country. Understand? Now, dear students, here now after that, we will discuss here about the vegetation. Or I will, uh, we will write here something about the vegetation. Okay? So, uh, dear student, just I, uh, I discussed about the climate of this. Now here we will discuss here about the vegetation. Okay. What types of vegetation is found in the Congo? Okay. So in this region, the trees in this area is very tall. The trees in this region are very tall and form of canopy preventing sunlight from reaching on the ground. Okay. Actually, so uh, Students, now uh, here you can understand, try to understand that the trees in this area are very tall. The trees in this area are very tall, and many trees are found. And on the ground, uh, there is dense forest. There is forest bushes, and uh, uh, there is uh, it is covered with the bushes and uh, uh, many trees also. Ebony, mahogany, sesam, teak. There are so many trees are found. That's why the ground is dense, and uh, in this area, so sometimes Congo is called the heart of darkness. Why it is called the heart of darkness? Because the trees in this area are very tall, and form a canopy preventing sunlight from reaching sunlight from reaching the ground. So Congo is sometimes also called the heart of darkness. It is also known as the heart of darkness. Okay, because almost means in the area in the ground. Almost darkness. The ground is covered with shrubs and bushes. Actually, the ground is covered with shrubs and bushes. About half the country is covered with the three equatorial forest. The forest remain, this, this forest remain green almost throughout the whole Okay, that's why this region or this forest is known as the evergreen forest. Why? Because uh, the this in this area, means about half of the country is covered with the thick equator forest. The forest even green throughout the year. Okay, throughout the year, that's why this area is that area is known as the evergreen forest. Understand? So, dear students, uh, in dense forest in Africa, country, and on this Congo, there are many uh, animals are found. Okay. So after that, we will discuss here about the uh, wild life of the Congo. Okay, and we will discuss so many things about that. Okay, so so student, I wrote here about the wildlife of the Congo. Okay, so I said you that in Congo uh, before uh, before this topic, I said you about the evergreen forest and also I said about the heart of darkness. This uh, that forest is known as also heart of darkness because it, it is half of the area, half of the ground is covered with the thick grassland. Okay, and it is covered also, it is also covered with the bushes and uh, shrubs. Understand? And many trees are found in this region. Understand? So, now we will discuss here about the wildlife of the Congo. So, in this country, uh, many uh, animals are found, okay? Uh, like chimpanzee and pygmy chimpanzee, that is also bongo. These are all the types of chimpanzee are found. The common chimpanzee and the bongo, okay? And gorilla and uh, mountain gorilla and big chimpanzee and okapi and white rhinoceros are 
also found in this region, in this forest. Okay, and many species are found. Means we can say that uh, large means more number of bird species, more number of insect species, and more number of uh, means more number of uh, more varieties of trees are also found in this region. Okay, and more numbers of animals are also found in this region. The white rhino and uh, mountain gorilla and okapi. These are the famous animals of this forest. And uh, chimpanzee also found who also pygmy pygmy chimpanzee also is that found. Understand? So in this region there are most important parks are there also. There is Garumba, Khauji Biga, and Salonga. Garumba, Khauji Biga, Salonga and Bimba are the national park of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And these are the wild life reserve park. Okay, it's the national park of the Congo and Africa continent. Understand? So this is the part one video of this chapter. Okay, so I hope you understand about this. In next video, I will discuss about the next topic from this lesson only. Okay, again we will meet. Okay, so you see and you watch my part one video, and uh, after that again we will discuss here. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.